My name's Ben Connolly. I'm not famous, I don't have a big company, and I don't have millions of dollars. But what I do have is a story to share. You see, what I learnt quite a few years ago is that your body isn't made for the extreme challenges of life, but your spirit is. I was a skydiving instructor and freefall cameraman, and I used to run out the back of aeroplanes at 14,000 feet. On this day, 18 years ago, on the 26th of May 2002 at 9.10am in the morning, my life changed forever. I suffered a catastrophic and career-ending accident that nearly took my life in the blink of an eye. As I drove to work that day, the sun was shining and it was beautiful. We got there, we were teasing the clients, we were having a great time. But little did I know that all of that was about to change. The moment we got out of the aeroplane, I knew there was something wrong. I looked down and we were so far away, but in this case there was just no getting back. I had to make that gut-wrenching choice where to land. I could either choose Karamundi Lake and risk drowning, I could choose Nicklin Way and risk being run over by a car, or I could aim for the small causeway in a retirement village at Karamundi. I had to clear the trees, the houses, the power lines. As I turned in, I got a big gust of wind from behind me that I knew that was going to put me into the bridge at the end of that causeway or was going to put me into Karamundi Lake. I needed to turn the parachute in order to turn back into the wind so that hopefully I could land safely. My heart was racing. This is the one thing that kills people. As I made that turn, I pulled hard down on the risers and then I hit the ground. I hit the ground at about 50 degrees at approximately 100 kilometers an hour. That impact was catastrophic. I heard my femur break. I'd broken all my ribs. I'd collapsed the lung. I'd nearly bit the end off my tongue. I couldn't really feel my right leg. I couldn't breathe because I had a mouthful of blood. And as I laid there, I had to choose whether to take my helmet off or leave it on, risking the fact that I could break my own neck in the process. I was now just a passenger as I laid there helpless on the grass and waited for someone to come and save my life. But after all of that, I realized that I'm the lucky one because I learned very quickly that it's much easier to be in the bed than it is to be those standing around it. You see, life is a dance between what you really desire and what you fear most, and your perspective is your reality. The minute you change your perspective, you change your reality. So I challenge you to give intention and love to what you desire and cast aside what you fear because life can change in the blink of an eye. Chase your beautiful moments, the little things with the people you love, a kiss, a hug, an intimate touch of your soulmate, your beautiful little dog. It could be helping someone and seeing them make a breakthrough. It could be all the moments doing the things that you love. Life's not about the number of days we live. It's about what we fit into those days that allow us to live a remarkable and fulfilled life. One day, your life may flash before your eyes. Make sure it's worth watching. Make sure it's full of life so that you have no regrets. Help others in your own unique way. And if you love someone, tell them. Love with all of your heart. Never give up on your dreams. Trust yourself when everyone else doubts you. Make your life matter. And never walk away from something you can't go a day without thinking about. So many people live for that light at the end of the tunnel. But what they don't realize is that that light is all around. That light isn't an illusion. The tunnel is.